I've been fossil hunting for about 40 years now. And uh, very dangerous, very exciting. It's like the light. Hold on, hold on. It looks like the cliff is giving way here. Look at this. The mud is sliding and exposing an ice lens of Indiana Jones. I've gone 400 miles into the wilderness to get this frozen cliff. As you can see, it's very tall, very muddy. This is where the fossils are. And uh, as I approach, you can see the, the mud sliding down. This is dry sand right now. But I pan the camera around and it's sand and mud and cliffs and hunks of this and that. And amongst all this, I'm looking for fossils, specifically of mammoth tusk somewhere. You can see how tall it is here. The trees on the very top, about 200 feet up on the top. And I very slowly run my boat nearby. I've got to get close in order to find uh, any fossils so I can see what's going on. Here there's a dust storm from something that let go up on top. This is an area I normally wouldn't be looking for tusks, but I'm looking at the pebbles and I'm looking on the beach and I'm studying the sticks and uh, there is a tusk. I can't believe it. And this is as I find it. Before I start digging it, that's how it looks. There are places along the cliff where I'm at where there are the water cuts in and there's gullies I can walk up so I pull the boat in and stop for a little while but you can see the big house sized hunks of mud up on the top. This is a little creek running down and the water washes over the fossils and exposes them. This is a very likely area where something might have fallen from the top. This is mud from 50,000 years ago thawing out. There, you can see there are sticks and some of these sticks might be fossils so I have to inspect everything here that I'm looking at. I'm taking the camera and scanning here as I look over everything wondering uh, what I'm finding here and then when I find something that's when the work begins. Here's a tusk that fell out of the cliff. This is 12 feet long and 200 pounds. As you can see, I'm struggling trying to get it out of the creek through the mud so I can get it over to the boat. I'm pulling, yanking, pushing, trying to get this thing moved. Right now, I'm still trying to move the tusk, but notice I'm all wet now. I took a break and went back to my boat. My boat was loose. I had to jump in the river and go get my boat, so that's why I'm all soaking wet. this tusk to the boat. I've been at it for hours. I'm wet. I'm cold. The tusk is heavy. The boat's not in a very safe place. The cliffs are falling. But I finally get the tusk into the boat. It weighs 200 pounds. I've been slogging through the mud. And now the rewards begin. It's safe. It's mine. Now I have the, some important work to stabilize it and keep the value once I get the fossils home, it's very important to do something to preserve them so the sun won't thaw them out and crack them too much. So I'm 
of coating them with something, putting clamps on, and then I keep it in a cool, dry place. And then I have to add that a lot of this footage has been uh, edited and redone and moved around and the dates don't match because I'm trying to protect the area where I get the tusk so people can identify it and uh, as somebody who finds gold is going to protect where they find it.